So I'm going to show you an idea with spectral mode, you know, much like people would use Oak Sound Soothe to try and get a little bit of a smoother kind of high end. So we're on the stereo upper here. Let's try a different part of the track. Okay, so if we come down here, we know that we can get a visual representation of what we're going to be adding in. So let's put in a high shelf like so. And let's right click and make this spectral. Now we come onto the parameters here. And once we're in the spectral mode, we can kind of determine the density here. Okay, so let's bring down the amount here. In fact, let's bring up our overall level and just do this dynamically. So we can determine how kind of accurate this is going to be. So it can be kind of smoother or yeah, more sharp. So we've got attack and release here as well. Okay, so we could try like really pushing this quite extreme. So we can hear what it's doing. And what we could do is also dial this in in parallel. What we could even do is try out something like having kind of an overall high frequency boost alongside that car. Let's try a different bit of the track. So I feel like we've got more high end there, which we do because we've got an overall boost to the high end, but then we're managing to kind of cut down on some of the kind of harsher frequencies that might be present. So it feels like it's bringing out kind of a nice, smooth, kind of polished sounding high end by using that spectral mode, and taking away some of the high frequencies, whilst also kind of bringing up an overall kind of high frequency boost. And we could do this on different areas of the frequency spectrum. So let's try it in this mid range. It's a kind of a bit you know, spiky around there. Let's try something around here. So again, we'll make it spectral. Okay, so we've got a kind of resonance suppressor on this mid range now. So let's try this in and out. So again, we could combine this with a bit more of a general kind of boost to try and take away some kind of nastiness and bring back in more of a general boost. And without. Really nice. And of course, we could also achieve something a little bit similar in the low end as well. So if we grab something like a low shelf, we'll make this spectral too. What we're trying to do here is maybe get rid of a bit of the resonance of the kick or resonance in the low end, I should say. Thank you for the 
whilst also having a little bit of an overall boost of the low frequencies. Try a different part of the track. So it gives us a bit of a thicker kind of low end and low mid. Okay, so let's try the overall plug in and out. Yeah, so I like what that's doing, kind of smoothening out the high frequencies and the low end, working on a little bit of the resonance in the mid range and bringing things out. So obviously I'm going to approach things in different ways in this video series. There's, you know, many different ways to skin a cat as the saying goes. So you may be able to achieve similar things by different routes. So even within this plugin, you know, maybe you can alleviate problems by working in mid side. Maybe you can work dynamically. Maybe we can work with the spectral setting. But having all these tools is going to allow you to choose the best one for the job, essentially. Okay, so there's another Pro Q4 tip. Let's head on and have a look at some more in the next video. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.